we continue to recommend ourselves as God's ministers. Here's another comment placed on a video by a supposed Jehovah's Witness that, in typical Jehovah's Witness fashion, refused to address the points in the video. All our beliefs are based on the Bible. One thing adhering to Jehovah's rule prevents, is the specter of Jehovah's Witnesses indulging in the sort of mass fratricide that our self-styled betters routinely indulge in. Whatever you think about us, we can guarantee that it will never be our police, soldiers, magistrates, trampling your rights. None of our self-styled betters can furnish you with any such guarantee. Yes, all your beliefs are based on the Bible. It was the Bible that Russell used to predict the world would have ended in 1914, then in 1918. In view of this strong Bible evidence concerning the time of the Gentiles, we consider it an established truth that the final end of the kingdoms of this world and the full establishment of the kingdom of God will be accomplished at the end of A.D. 1914. My mother, she was ready to sell up everything in the home because she thought that the end was coming in 1940 and her feelings were that of a lot of the brothers back there. It was based on the promises set forth in the Bible that Rutherford decided it was a positive and indisputable conclusion that millions then alive in 1920 would have never died. It is the Bible that Gerrit Lush and the governing body twisted and misused when he said Jesus appointed a governing body or promised to have appointed a governing body. At Matthew 24, 45 to 47, we read that for the time of the end, Jesus would appoint a faithful and discreet slave or governing body to explain the Bible to his followers and help them to grow in understanding of the truth. Your organization has been using the Bible to lie to people for more than 100 years claiming they were appointed as the only ones who can explain the Bible to people. All who want to understand the Bible should appreciate that the greatly diversified wisdom of God can become known only through Jehovah's channel of communication, the faithful and discreet slave, John 6:68. 6, For more than 150 years, they kept changing what they claimed the Bible teaches. In fact, the Watchtower Publications Index includes the heading Beliefs Clarified, which lists adjustments in our scriptural understanding since 1870. We say God's Word is truth. With humans, I think we all know that it isn't always the truth, or they have to revise it or change it later on. Well, for many years, our understanding was that these were good people. In fact, these were Jehovah's people. These were Jehovah's Witnesses. So it's obvious that we have some thinking to do. We have to look for a different explanation. Not to mention claiming things are in the Bible that are not there at all, even to the point of telling a disgusting lie on the Son of God. We've now discussed three examples of Jesus' voice. Number one, trust the faithful and discreet slave. So yes, all your teachings are based on your poor understanding of the Bible, your twisting of the Bible, and your lies about the Bible. It is nothing but the Bible that you all have been trying to understand for more than 150 years and still cannot understand it. This is a gradual process. We are still roving about. Yet you are deluded enough to think that you are in the truth. The truth is not the Watchtower organization. But that's not what the Bible says, is it? Go and read the Bible properly and carefully. And you will see that the way, the truth, and the life is Jesus Christ, 
and not the Watchtower organization. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, share the video, and share your thoughts in the comments section. These go a long way in lending support to the channel. Until the next video, do take very good care of yourself. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you.